All right, so this is the carburetor off of a 1977 uh, AMC Pacer, of all things. Um, it uh, really didn't operate all that well. Um, it would stumble, it would hesitate. Uh, it really didn't have a whole lot of power because there just wasn't enough fuel you know, uh, going through it. Um, having taken it apart and uh, seen inside of it, it's uh, pretty apparent why. Uh, it, the, the inside of the of the bowl and um, this is the, the the bore for the accelerator pump and it's all it's pretty badly corroded uh, the underside of, of the bowl is pretty badly corroded um, we were only able to get one of the main jets to come out the other one probably hasn't been out in 25 or 30 years so that that jet will probably never ever come out again um, the carburetor itself was put through an ultrasonic cleaner to try and break up, you know, as much uh, dirt on the inside the passages and whatnot. Um, so now we, we're in the reassembly phase, and uh, things are coming along. Um, we're probably going to once the carburetor is back on the car, we're probably going to have to make uh, some adjustments. Uh, the adjustments on this carburetor, you can adjust uh, the metering rods that um, allow the fuel to be drawn into the carburetor, and you can also adjust the um, accelerator pump as to how much fuel it, uh, it shoots into the carburetor when, when you hit the gas. Um, but with the bore being as pitted as it is, um, there's definitely going to be some fuel that goes around the uh, pump, so the the pump is probably never going to be able to be uh, at 100%, so we'll probably have to um, add some fuel by adjusting the, the metering rods, um, and hopefully we can get it to a point where it operates, you know, well enough for the, for us to be happy and for the customer to be happy. You know, that would be the best of both worlds. Um, so yeah, we still have a few, a, a little bit more work. To to do to it, um, but that's about it.